there have to be some 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 Negroes he either left behind or he did dirty. And I don't remember that. People say, well, his ex, his first wife, mother of his children, right? I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. My issue with OJ is that OJ killed two people and then walked away from it. Uh, Kevin Newman writes, next it will be a 30-30 on OJ Hancock, LOL. <laughs> Daryl writes, yes, sir. OJ is the truth. Shout out to Mr. Newman. Absolutely. Deborah writes, I saw the Jackson 5, Al Green, Stevie Wonder, and Marvin Gaye at the Gardens a year or so before he died. Really? Yeah, the Gardens was popping at one point. Well, not anymore. Derek writes that O.J. Hancock is the real deal. Of course he is. Akeem, he writes, good morning, Chop Shop. I could really use some Lisa McDonald right now. SOS from from Zamunda. Huh, McDowell. I could really use some Lisa McDowell right now. SOS from Zamunda. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. Kiki writes, my king husband got one after our last youth was born. Hell, now it's unlimited fun. Right. Absolutely. I love the way she says her king husband. Hmm. Hmm. As a husband, that appeals to me. I think I like, you know, I might suggest it to the wifey. Wifey! Maybe I won't. Kevin writes, uh, it was a Molly party for young people. Sad, but a lot of young black women love Molly. And my question is why? Why is Molly so popular? I don't get it. It's the popular culture. It's the, come on, it's got to be the popular culture. Number one, teenagers experiment with drugs because they're young and they're not exposed to it. And whenever you tell somebody, hey, you shouldn't do that, they want to do it. So everybody goes through that. Like, I, I was told, i never forget it, when I was really, really, really younger, I remember my grandmother, she used to drink. She used to drink and smoke and cuss in and gamble, all that kind of stuff. Grandma was a rolling stone, Okay. Just in a sense that, you know, she was doing her. And then somewhere, I don't know if I was born yet or when I was very, very younger, she just went through a transformation and went completely Christian. <laughs> completely Christian. And I don't know if it was a health scare or what it was. But, like, my earliest memories of my grandmother was, like, her being, like, the loudest voice in the party. Smoking and drinking and cussing, you know, doing her thing. I can remember that as a kid. I have a very good memory for some things. And as as I got older, I, she was like 700 club, the whole nine yards. Like, you know, you go into her dress in her nightstand. It was full of all this Trinity broadcast and stuff and holy water. They would send you for too damn much money in the mail. God wants to bless you. So first send me $20 and I'm going to send you some holy water, right? And it's got like, it's like a little plastic container and it's some water. It's some kind of liquid in there. Probably tap water. Probably tap water. And then they sell it for $20 a pop or whatever it was, $5 a pop back in the day to these elderly people who are clinging on to life. Many of them are looking back with regret and past sins or just dealing with being older and not really have taken good care of themselves. So their bodies, bodies breaking down. They feel like they're near death. So they want to make good with God before they get there. I get it. I mean, I may do the same thing. I understand it. But, and I can remember, I can remember that very, very vividly just going, it was like a complete shift to Christianity, a complete shift. And I want to know, I mean, do you have, did you have a similar experience like with maybe the elders in your, in your particular, you know, family? I want to hear it. But that Molly, so back to your point on Molly, Kevin, that's pop culture, man. That's little Wayne, that's these telling people to take drugs. I mean, like I said, my grandmother, she went straight Christian, but before she did, she used to drink beer. And I remember being so curious about how beer tasted. I was just so curious because she was drinking it. And I'm like, damn, I mean, I want to taste it too. How bad could it be if, if my grandma, okay, if she's taking it. And I remember the first time I tasted beer, I'm going to share this with you because nobody knows this. I couldn't have been no more than like 10. Okay, eight, nine, ten, and Grandma, she wasn't getting around that much, that fast, and she, whatever reason, I think it was a knock on the door. So, 
she left the living room where we were watching TV together and she was drinking her beer and she walked all the way down the stairs. They had a big house, big staircase. And little Nate took a sip or two. <sighs> hmm, what's the big deal here? So what's my point in saying all this? Is that that is the nature of younger people to experiment. It's going to happen. You know, everybody does it. Edward writes, uh, I need to know if OJ did it. Who killed Tupac, Biggie, and Jam Master J? OJ, if OJ didn't do it, he was standing right there while it was done. Uh, Tupac was probably killed because of jealousy. Same thing with Biggie and probably Jam Master J. Uh, Kevin Newman writes, Molly is a pure form of MDMA. And I can't pronounce that without looking at where it quickly first. But then he's got the, 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 uh, the I don't know that the drug, you know, name for the exact scientific name for MDMA, similar to the wildly popular club drug ecstasy. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I, that's, that's enough as I, I don't need to know any more about the mollies. You know, there's some things that I don't need to experience, like uh, climbing Mount Everest. I don't need to experience that. I'm cool. Uh, falling into a gorilla exhibit at the zoo. I'm cool with that. I don't need to pet the gorilla. Uh, getting an STD. I'll take your word for it. It's horrible. I don't need to do that. And uh, eating raw food like sushi. Eh, I'm cool. I'll take mine cooked, please. Don't bring me no damn raw food. It's 2016, man. You trying to kill me? Uh, speaking of trying to kill me, and this is just a sidebar, and honestly, I had every intention of leading with this this morning. But there were so many other issues percolating in the city of Cincinnati, like what's going on with the Port Authority. Barack Obama may be in town. You know, uh, you know some of the details about the, the NAACP convention, you know, things like that. Uh, the Port Authority has a new member, a brother, who was appointed by uh, John Cranley. I don't know if city council has basically ratified it or not. But they had one member who basically, I believe, is retiring, and he was uh, he was replaced by a brother, uh, P and G executives. I'm understand Procter and Gamble communications executive. But anyway, I had every intention of leading with this. I, I got to be honest with you. Speaking of germs, it's 2016. I'm hearing about the fact that they've got these 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 uh, these antibiotic resistant uh, germs out here and strains. I ain't trying to catch one. I will never understand this in all of my days. I don't get these people. And I'm just, I, I, you tell me if I went too far last night. So last night I go out and make a late night purchase. I run up to the convenience store, okay? And I don't know, are people trained to do this? Because this is nasty. And when this happens in the grocery store, you know what I do now? Is I stop everything. I don't want that bag. And I'm talking about you go and you make a purchase and the cashier is there and they lick their finger. They lick their finger so it can give them a little bit more, I, I don't know, they're able to grasp uh, the edge of the plastic container or plastic bag or whatever. So I'm at the Quickie Mart last night. It's like 10, 11, something like that. I make a couple purchases, and this man just licked. It's like he licked from his palm to the tip of his tongue. And then he was going to reach and touch my items and put, oh, I got it, bro. I got it. No, 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 no. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. That's what I did. Was that wrong? I don't want your germs, man. Who are these people? It's the nastiest thing ever. Do you understand the human mouth is not clean? Am I trying to kiss you, man? It's the, what the hell? Is this the Virgo inside of me? Is it my OCD? I don't know what it is, but I just can't. I, I can't get down with that no more. I can't get down. I got to call it out. I actually went to a grocery store. This is going back like a year or so. White ladies, the cashier. I'm over in Kentucky, okay? Older. And I'm making my purchases, and I'm looking at her, right? I hope she's not going to lick her fingers. And this woman licks her finger. Like, ah! And then she wants to grab my food items? <laughs> what? And I had to shut it down. No, 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 no. Just, just, just give me the bag. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. I got it. I got it. 
the hell are these people? I don't want to put my hand where your tongue has been. Nastiest thing ever, man. I had to check dude last night, and he just kind of looked at me, and I bagged my own stuff. Don't even touch. I mean, I don't even want to drink my water now. I got to take the water bottle home and cleanse it off before I can drink it. Because you out here licking your fingers, man. Don't they have things for that? Like, I've seen people, like smart people. And you can buy something, and it will moisten the fing- your fingertips. Like people at, at banks, uh, tellers, uh, they keep these kind of things, these moisturizing pads. Can we please uh, get those at all of the damn stores, please? Can the good folks at Kroger, because it's happened at Kroger too many times. I don't want to go buy my food. And then the cashier is going to lick my food before I go home. I don't want to do that. I'm just saying, I don't want to do that. Am I alone in that one? <laughs> I don't think so. It's the nastiest thing I've heard in my life. Brent, Brent, uh, Brittany writes, uh, Nate, why is it a big question on whether or not a person on the terror watch list should be able to purchase a gun? Question mark. It's no. It's a no-brainer to me. America poses to be a smart country, yet we're debating over something so stupid. Stop allowing people to purchase all these guns knowing they are on your watch list. I'm heated, Nate, for good reason, Brittany Gray Flo. For good reason, right. And that goes back to the NRA. It goes back to the Second Amendment folks. They want to muddy the waters as much as possible, and that's why. I don't know how many people are going to have to be killed at one time. It might have to be two or 3,000, and that might not do it. I mean, it, there's going to have to be a serious catastrophic event, catastrophic event in which it's just beyond anything anyone could imagine for the folks at the National Rifle Association to budge even one bit. They're not going to budge. James writes, I left my phone sitting in direct sunlight and almost killed it. A cell phone should never be killed by the sun. It should be energized by the sun. That's just one of those little things that people don't think about. Why don't why aren't all cell phones waterproof? Number one, they should all be waterproof. And number two, they should all be solar powered. It would make life so much easier. Brittany writes, uh, let's go, Cavs. We need this win. Absolutely. Because the Cavs lost in game six of last year. The Golden State Warriors, they celebrated on the Cavs floor. Now, if the Cavs have any competitive spirit, right, the members of the Cavs organization, the team uh, who were also on the team last year, they should use this as motivation. Do not let Golden State dance on your home floor. Make them go home to do that. Kiki writes, the only time I remember OJ do real is when he was on Roots. What? Oh, okay. Oopsie OJ. Okay, I get you. Ever writes, uh, I'm a conspiracy type person. First, you have the Cincinnati Zoo victim, Walt Disney equals Walt Disney World victim. It's summertime. That's advertisement for the parks. Then you have the Orlando shooting. Tomorrow marks a year of the Charleston Church victims. I'm just saying. Well, with these shooting, these mass shootings, you might be onto something there. Because these psycho sickos, man, See, part of it is this. Part of it is we should not make heroes out of these gunmen. And in the past, we've done that. Like, there's a mass shooting. The media over, over reports it. They over talk about it to the point where the killers, the trigger persons, they end up getting so much media attention. That these lonely psycho sickos out there, they think to themselves, hey, I want to be remembered like that. I want to be talked about. I want to be feared. I want to be revered. Okay, I want to be loathed and despised. I just want people to remember me. And so that's part of the game for some of them as well, especially the ones that end up committing suicide. They want us all to talk about them and think about them as masterminds and, oh, that person was super tough and, Oh, how nefarious was he? That, that's part of it as well. 
Kevin writes, uh, the phrase Uncle Tom has also become an epithet for a person who is slavish and excessively subservient to perceived authority figures, particularly a black or brown person who behaves in a subservient manner to white people or any person perceived to be complicit in the oppression of their own group. 